to Mrs. Brown's boy. He's Mrs. Brown. That's Mrs. Brown. Oh, Mrs. Brown. Oh, hello. <laughs> I just read in that that Neanderthal man wasn't erect for 300 years. Just like my reds are. <laughs> I see the ads for the, this tablet you take, and it says, if you get an erection for more than four hours, call a doctor. <laughs> if you're taking it and you get an erection for more than four hours, call me! <laughs> you don't know a good plumber, do you? I'm trying to get a plumber. I used to use the local fella, Uriah Mullen. He went out of business when his wife found lipstick on his stopcock. <laughs> Tamango red, it was called. That's, yeah, Tamango red. That's the kind of, the colour lipstick that, you know, if you wear it, it looks beautiful. But if you find it in your husband's collar, <laughs> it's the colour only his slut would wear. <laughs> oh, hello, boys. Hey, mommy. Hello, son. Hey, Mummy. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Cup of tea, love? No, Mummy. Just dropped in to see if I can have me dinner here this evening. Maria's down at Foley's getting ready for that thing tonight. Of course you can. And I'm doing your favourite. Filet de poulet en croûte. <laughs> Looking chicken nuggets. <laughs> so who's the promotion for this week? Oh, Hanley's Honey. And what's the pitch? Hanley's Home Hived Honey. Hewn from homogenous horticulture by Hanley's own Honey Bees. <laughs> Happy honeybees, buzz buzz, happy honeybees, buzzing through the flowers and trees. Do you want honey? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Hello, Bono. Hello, Mark. How are you, Matt? Hi, come on, here's Tim. Buzz off. <laughs> First time we've heard that this week. I heard that loads of times this week. <laughs> Any tea? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Where, where's Betty? Stopped at the shop on our way. Are you all right, Bono? You don't look happy. I'm not. You're all a son's a dumbass. Son, you watch our milk. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, hello Nuri. Hi, Mammy. Hello, <laughs> mother-in-law. <laughs> Do you want a cup of tea, love? No. Actually, I'm come to see you, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he just explained that we've had all week to learn this, but that was my fault. <laughs> it's like a cup of tea, Rory. No, I'm actually here to see you, Mark. Me? Yeah, Betty asked us to babysit tonight, but we can't. Dean has booked a table at Chef Ali's for our first anniversary. <laughs> oh, Rory. Oh, Dino. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Will you tell her, Mark? Sure. Looks like I'm babysitting, so. Yippee Yahoo! <laughs> All right, see us. Uh, Dino, that's a really nice thing you're doing. Oh. Well done. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I'd bend over backwards for Rory. <laughs> you watch your fucking language! <laughs> Where are you going? Toilet. Is everything all right, love? No. I think me and Betty have made a big mistake. I told you from the start, love, you married beneath yourself. <laughs> me and Betty are very happily married. And why wouldn't you be? She's a wonderful girl. Best thing that ever happened to you. I've always said that. We are having a disagreement over Bono. About what? The school are having an under-13s disco next week and Bono wants to go. That'll be fun. He's too young, ma. He's 12. When is he going to be old enough for an under-13 disco? When he's 12 years, 11 months and three weeks? <laughs> That's what Betty says, but it's not just age, ma. He's not ready for discos yet. He'd be fine. And Betty doesn't say that. Betty goes... <laughs> He'd be fine. I can remember when you wouldn't let Rory go to an 18s disco. That was different. He was 36. <laughs> Hello, Betty. Hiya. Where's Bono? He's in the toilet. Are you going to Maria's thing tonight, Mrs. Brown? Well, everybody else is going. I might as well. Hi, Winnie. Oh, hello. How are you, Mrs. McGilvan? Oh, thanks, Mark. Oh, Betty, are you and Mark going to this thing in Foley's tonight? We are. Right, Bonner, let's go. Are we witches now? Who cares? 
Are you going to correct him? Sure. Bono, it's him cares, not who. Imagine, Murray, you're setting up this vigilante gang. It's a community crime watch group, not vigilante. I'll see you later. Hey, love. Old oh, Mark. Yeah. Would you know a good plumber, love, for heating? Mammy, I keep telling you, there's nothing wrong with your heating. You have a cross draft. Just keep the kitchen door closed. But if I close the door, I can't see the sitting room and I can't see the front door. OK, then. Leave it with me. I'll fit a new door for you, all right? Oh, thanks, love. You're very good. <laughs> Is your plumbing bad? It's not too bad, but I want a new book and door. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's me, isn't it? No, it is you, yes. It is me. Yes, it is. <laughs> Told me to tell you the line. Seems very touchy. It's just stuff at home, you know. Oh. Parents and their children. Oh, don't talk to me. Sharon won't go and see Dr. Flynn. Sharon, why? What's wrong? Well, the last two weeks she's complained about her back, but she won't go and it's very sore. Her back is very sore. Mm. I'm not surprised. She spends a lot of time on it. <laughs> well, she says it's just a pulled muscle. Oh. She's always pulling muscles. <laughs> Yes, she is. She says it's a waste of time going to the doctor. Maybe she's right. After all, who knows more about Chardon's body than Chardon? <laughs> Half the men in Finglas. Now, as you all know, the church was vandalised last week. They did a fair bit of damage, and that's just not on. So Maria Brown here has suggested that we ask the guardie, is there anything that we can do to assist them? Oh. Thank you. Thank you all for coming tonight. But crime, particularly lately, is on the rise. We think there's just one man that's responsible, but we don't have any leads. <laughs> buzz, buzz. <laughs> well, someone has to say it. There's only two people in this bar that have been to prison. Hey, Hannigan! Only one. I've never been. And I'm not going back. There'll be no finger pointing in here. God, uh, mention the peeping Tom. There's a good example. Mrs. Nicholson has been stalked by a peeping Tom. Would you like to tell them, Mrs. Nicholson? Oh, certainly. <clears throat> 2300 hours on December the 28th, full moon, clear skies, barometric pressure. Oh, just get on with it for fuck's sake, Rambo. <laughs> Mother, just tell the story. Fine. I came out of the shower. Naked. <laughs> no, Winnie, she was wearing a football jersey and oven gloves. <laughs> what team? Shut up. <laughs> yes, I was naked. From the corner of my eye, I thought I saw the figure of a man at the window. I walked towards the window. I heard a bush rustling. Walk slower. <laughs> the person moved. The plot tins. <laughs> Bravely, I went outside, and sure enough, a man was there. I don't have to tell you what he was doing. Throwing up. <laughs> Let's get these people and beat the shit out of them. Yeah! No, no, this is not a vigilante group. We don't want people thinking of Gardaí. This is simply an awareness group. Exactly. So what do we do? Do we set up patrols? Do we carry baseball bats? Yeah! yeah. Now that's exactly yeah. what you don't do. Do not carry any weapons. Look, it's not a patrol as such, but I have organised a schedule of uh, walkabouts. Three, four people to a group. Well, there is a certain way. Oh, I have this card. Now, you might see something. And in any case, our presence there will deter these vandals and we might stop this unknown man. If you do see something that doesn't look right, stick him like a pig. <laughs> Call the police. Then stick him like a pig. <laughs> and the guard will also be putting up crime watch signs in your area. What if we see a creepy looking character? Send him round to Hidley's house at 2300 hours. <laughs> you don't seem to be on board with us, Mrs. Brown. I'm torn. A bicycle accident. <laughs> You're through, through. Shut up. Uh, on the one hand,
hand. I don't have a problem with we the proletarians assisting the guardians of the state with enforcing the legislation and the laws. <laughs> Why can't we carry book and baseball bats? <laughs> Quiet! Now, if you'd like to sign up, Maria will break into groups and shifts. Thank you. Yeah, well, I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Right, let's go. You're not having another one? No, the babysitter has to go at eight. And Maria looks like she'll be here for a while. Are you coming? No, you come on. I'm going to have another one. Sharon, do you have a minute? Oi, how's that now, ma'am? Oh, Mark, that's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It's lovely. Thank you, son. Right, I have to go. <laughs> I've a new door. <laughs> Mind me, good door. <laughs> Very fancy. Yeah, and it's nice when it's closed, thank you. Well, excuse me. <laughs> How did the date go last night? I don't want to talk about it. OK. Men. Such liars. Was he a liar? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Fine. What is dating supposed to be about? What, I ask? I don't know. What? A man takes a woman out because he wants sex. If it wasn't for sex, he'd go out with his mates. Oh, but a woman can't mention that she feels the same because we're not supposed to want it. <sighs> oh, we're allowed to do it. <laughs> but not if we want it. So, we have to pretend we don't know they want it, even though we're only there because we want it. And if he says he wants it, we have to pretend we don't do it, or we don't even know what it is. Do you want to talk about it? No! <laughs> Hi, Winnie. Hiya, Cathy, love. I need a man. Well, don't look at me. And certainly don't look at me. What's wrong with her? I don't want to talk about it. A new door, Agnes? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Well, you yeah. know. You can see everything through that. It's called glass. <laughs> When you get that door, will you? It's probably the boys for the practice. Hi. Oh, nice new door, Mrs. Brown. It's nothing. <laughs> right then, let's go through the handbook, shall we? Rory and Dino, you two are going to be the protagonists. Oh, be fair. Let them be the Catholics. <laughs> the protagonists. The baddies. Oh, the baddies. For as long as I remember, I've always wanted to be a gangster. Come on. Want to see my little friend? <laughs> hey, baby! Don't touch the merchandise! <laughs> I'm not playing anymore! Rory! Rory! Why did you kiss a matter? <laughs> okay. Grandad, uh, come with me. Oh. Now, why don't you sit over here? Yeah. Now, you are going to be a drunk man looking for a fight. Oh. Winnie, you go first. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're on patrol, yeah. and you come across this drunk, abusive man. Right. Go. OK. <laughs> Winnie, Winnie, a Robocop, not fucking Mary Poppins. <laughs> it's a nice day, isn't it? Piss off. <laughs> Was that? For Christ's sake, get me out. Oh, no. Mother, your turn next. Okay. Uh, what does the handbook advise? Oh, 
Very good. Very good. <laughs> Calmly approach and ask the subject to cease. Hmm. You, I give you so many lefts, you be begging for a right. Excuse me, sir. I would like you to cease this behaviour. Very good. Go away, you big-ass nosy parker. <laughs> eh, eh, thank you for playing. Well, Maria, tell me the truth. Is it this dress? Get out of the way. Let me at it. Oh, um... My turn, my turn, my turn. If the subject does not stop, yeah, or yeah, yeah, fear yeah, for yeah. your safety... Yeah, yeah. Call the police. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh. Come on. Who wants to fight? <laughs> I'll take yous all on. Come on. Who wants to fight? Come on. Come on. I'll... <laughs> very welcome to Liveline. Time to talk to Joe. Well, as you've just heard on the news headlines, it's budget day today. How does it affect you? Does it make your life any easier? Phone or text us here on the Liveline and let us know. We have a caller on the line. It's... I'm sorry, is it Annie? Hello? I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's not Annie. I'm sorry, it's Anonymous. I, I just call you Anon. Are you there? Hello? I'm here. I'm here, Anon. What's on your mind? We're talking about the budget. I don't have a budget. <laughs> All right, if you're not on about the budget, what, what is it? Sex, Joe. I'm talking about sex. Careful now, now. This is an afternoon show. Your personal needs are not up for discussion. Oh, it's, it's not me. I, I have a dildo. No, it's, it's... It's my daughter, Joe. She needs a man. Really? And, and what's stopping her? Uh, she's... I think she's frigid. 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 <laughs> she, she's very difficult, Joe. You see, Joe, my daughter, oh, she... Please, uh, don't mention her real name. Oh, of course not. We, let's call her... Cathy with a K. <laughs> Mummy! Well, well, maybe all she... Mummy! Is, is, a, is a bit of attention. I, I, I tell you what, we here at Lifeline would send her out a nice bouquet of flowers. Mummy! That might cheer her up. You're very kind, Joe. That will definitely cheer her up. Send him to... No. Cathy no. Brown, 92, James Dacker Court, Fingers. Jesus! to the nation that I can't get a man. I don't know what you're talking about. You were on the radio talking to Joe Duffy. What? I don't mean, listen, me on the radio, how this, maybe, talking about my personal life. I was talking about budgies. Delivery for Cathy Brown. That's me. Thank you. I believe you're looking for a man. Get lost! Nice care for me. Oh. Thanks, Agnes. I got it in Guyanese today. And a great sale on there. Mm. I saw a lovely dress that would really suit you. Oh. <laughs> but they didn't have it in the next... Th y your size. <laughs> Hi, Miss McGugan. Hello, Mrs. Brown. You two will be on the second shift patrol today. Oh. I hope you're not drinking too much. <laughs> uh, who's our third? Oh, my mother. Hidley. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> She'll call over to yours later. I can't wait. Here, come on, we'd we better go and get ready for this patrol. I'm a bit nervous, Agnes. Out on the streets in the dark. We might get attacked by a wild animal. Winnie, you're in Finglas, not Africa. You're hardly going to meet a ten-foot snake. 
Huh? <laughs> Ten foot snake. Snakes don't have feet. I was getting my hair. Don't want to come on the radio. I have to be honest, Kathy. When she said your name, I laughed. <laughs> it's not funny. I've been answering the door all day to the biggest collection of weirdos. Oh. <laughs> here, Buster called five times. <laughs> Oh, here, look, I better go over to yours. Get your mother's patrol underway. He's coming? You go on, we'll follow you down. Okay. Do you know what? Maybe I should go. Ah, uh, you'll have another one. Sharon, two more. <laughs> to fight crime. <laughs> you can't go on patrol dressed as Banana Man. Well, who are you supposed to be? I think I'm a banana. <laughs> well, I'm glad my mother is going with you too. She might bring a bit of sanity to it all. <laughs> I'm here! <laughs> mother, have you gone mad? <laughs> oh, you're not Charlie's Angels. Go and change and put on something warm. Now. Hey, love. Oh. Has Mammy gone on patrol yet? No. The Avengers are in getting changed. Listen, don't let them go out. Why? Buster has an idea. <laughs> Listen, Cathy, do me a favour, will you? Yeah, if I can. I'm going straight to a club tonight. So I won't get to the night safe. Will you bring that back to your house and I'll get it off you in the morning? Sure. Are we right, people? Have you no homes to go to? Good night. been a crime committed. Not at all. This is a going away party for Hannigan here. He's leaving Fingless. Isn't that right? Uh, yes, I am. And you're not coming back. Am I right? No, never. <laughs> well, let's get the party started. <laughs> not you. You better hurry up when you miss your fly. Move. <laughs> Jog on the spot for me, Grandad. Okay, stop. Can you touch your toes? Can't even touch me, Willie. <laughs> Willie, mind me door. Don't scratch the fucking door. Ah. Oh, hello, Dr. Flynn. Oh, hello, Mrs. Brown. Uh, I've had a good look at Grandad, and as far as I can see. Is he dying? No. Not interested. <laughs> Uh, don't mind her, Dr. Flynn. What's the news? I don't think he's taking his medication at night. Leave it with me, Dr. Flynn. I'll make sure. And what about you? Me? What do you mean? I believe you might be, um... <laughs> available? Seriously? I'm sorry. I have to go. <laughs> Bye! Uh, that's my little girl. <laughs> yes, I am. But you better take your tablets. 
More men? Leave this to me, Cathy. Well, hello, boys. I'm Cathy Brown. Just go for a lie down. Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> Close the door, please. Gently. Thank you. Who was out of the front door? I think that might have been the last of any men callers. <laughs> Hiya, Mammy. Hello, dear miss. Big cup of tea, son. No, Mammy. I just dropped around to say, great job last night. Oh. Hannigan won't show his face and fingers again. No, son. Great job you last night. Well, actually, it was Buster's idea. Well, it was a great idea, Buster. Well done. Tell her about my other idea. No. <laughs> Just go. Go. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait, no. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. No, 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 no. No, no. We're not going. No. Get back in there, beast. Cathy, watch this. Do it. <laughs> we did it, man. Do the song. I go. Honey happy honey bees, buzz happy honey bees, buzzing to the flowers and trees. Do you want honey? Oh yes, please. <laughs> Bono. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, do they fit? I think so. Hello, Betty. Hiya. I hope it was no trouble for you, Mrs. Brown. Are you kidding me? I'd mind them all day, every day. Bono, your mummy and daddy are here. Ooh. Look at you. I know. Granny bought it for me at the sales. Yeah, very good, mummy. Thanks. Well, I wanted him to look well, you know, for his first disco. <laughs> disco? Yes. Remember, you said you were going to drop him off at the disco tonight and pick him up at the disco. Did you, Daddy? Did you really say you'd go to the disco? Of course. You can't miss the first disco in the school. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> but I will be picking you up. But, Dad, what if I get lucky? <laughs> get out of the car, you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mammy. Oh, it's no trouble. But don't do it again. It's so hard not to interfere. You know, when, you're, when you have your babies, you're an apprentice mother with apprentice children. And then as soon as you get to know their job, they flick off and marry someone else. <laughs> That's why we make wonderful grandparents. Because we know the job. <laughs> you remember when you had your first child and if they got a splinter, straight down to emergency. <laughs> the second child, if he came in with a stake through his heart, put a plaster on it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I am never interfering in my family's life again. Good night, Mommy! Except for her. <laughs> Grandad, did you take your tablets? No. Where are they? In the drawer beside the sink. Jesus! <laughs> you bastard! That's not fucking funny. Where are they? Behind the toaster, I think. Now, number three. Jesus, what's that? A spider! A freaking spider! A spider! 